Hello crafters, this is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I'm here with a video of how to set up your art glitter glue and also how to set up the fine metal tip here. Also, if you don't have art glitter glue or don't want to make the, you know, initial big investment because this glue adds up, but it does last a long time. So it has its pros and cons. I can also show you, I'll also show you an alternative which is the Scotch Tacky Glue, available everywhere. Alrighty, let's get started. I have been complaining, yes, because <laughs> I'm doing videos and tutorials with my busted crop art glitter glue. And what I do is I buy a bottle, and this is the two ounce bottle. I will leave a link below. Um, you can buy this on Amazon. Uh, Scrapbook Pal sells it, but I think they're out of it right now. And um, I think the best thing, best way to buy it actually is like this, a starter kit, which will come with the fine metal tip and the two ounce bottle of glue. Now you can put this um, fine metal tip and use the glue on their four ounce bottle, which I have. I find this to be just too cumbersome in my hand. Both of them have the same exact top. And can you hear that? So when you take this off and you take off the little seal, both of them come sealed like this. So seeing that I'm going to actually be putting on the fine metal tip, now I can take it off. Took off this little cover here that keeps the glue from drying out. And I use the two ounce bottle. Now what you're looking for, and I did make the mistake once, I bought a art glitter glue two ounce bottle that says dries white. Don't ever buy that one. <laughs> just, just don't do it. It dries white. I had to use it only for our mini album construction on pages that nobody would see that type of deal to finally use it up. What you want is the dries clear. And like I said, it does come in a four ounce bottle that you can also put the fine metal tip here, but this is a, uh, it's just cumbersome. I don't know, I don't know. It depends on what you're using it for, if you're fine with this, but I find it to be just way too big. This is the typical starter kit that you'll see on Amazon. That's the easiest way to get it. That's how I got it the first time. Um, you can go on Art Glitter Glue itself, I, I, how much was the shipping? I can't even remember because it was so long ago. But when I did go on Art Glitter Glue, I went there for this, their refill, which is um, eight ounces. At that time when I bought it, this turned out to be a better deal directly from them than it was on Amazon. You know how Amazon gets sometimes. Amazon was great with the starter kit, not so much with the refill. So... I went there for that. But you can, if you if you go there, I'll take a look and I'll link, link it below if I see something interesting, like a pretty decent deal and you can probably get, you know, the two ounce bottle, the metal tip to install, which does come separate. So they will sell it as a kit on Amazon or they'll sell it separate. This is normally $6.99 by itself. This would be around four or five dollars for the metal tip. This I think, oh, I can't remember. I can't remember. I don't know if it's 20 bucks or something, but this, I've had this for years and it's brand new, never opened. So, you know, it lasts a long time. I've been using the four ounce bottle to refill the, this one to refill the um, two ounce bottles. And this one here was my crop <laughs> art glitter glue. And I, I was having so much problems with it just being so gunky, so I said, I'm just gonna start over. So the metal tip, and it'll say metal tip on it, I'm gonna show you what it comes with once I open up the package. It comes with this little cylinder here, and in it, that's the fine metal tip, and it will also come with the pin and this little jar. Now the purpose of the jar is if your metal pin gets gunky with glue, you wanna clean it, or um, your 
well, the metal tip, normally once you put it on, you shouldn't take it back off. But let's say you can take off the tip. I don't. I just take off the whole thing and then soak it. You can soak soak it in hot water in here. You can put um, the isopropyl alcohol or hand. I've heard hand sanitizer. I haven't done any of those things. This is actually my first time that this glue has given me, this old one here has given me so much problem in years. Just, yeah, I don't know why. I must have left it open. If you leave it open while you're working, that's when it will start clogging up because it does dry fast. It dries clear and it dries fast. Alrighty. So it comes with this little tip, this little cover. We're gonna pop it off. Oh, there's the glue. Now you can use it this, this way, but this is gonna be gunky. See, gunky. Very, very thick and gunky. So the fine metal tip, which it would be nice if it just came with it, but you can only, you know, buy the starter kit. The fine metal tip has in here some little grooves. You see them? Kind of like threading. We're gonna install it now. So, take your fine metal tip, put it on, press, and turn it. So it's like a... See, both of them have the same height. So it, it won't come all the way down to these notches. The notches, I think, are for this, this one here to close, which I saved them anyway. So now, once we have the fine metal tip on my new bottle, there. And we can go squiggle, a little squiggle. Now, this is the pin. Now, the pin that they have, you can't put just any pin. I think this is a stainless steel pin. It doesn't rust. If you use a regular pin and just stick it in here because you, you lost this pin, your glue will start rusting. And that happened to me once. And I'll tell you why it happened to me once. All right, let me tell you how it rusted. So when I first got Art Glitter Glue, it's very easy to take this off, put it down, use it, and then can't find your pin. So there is a company on Etsy who was selling these adorable, cute little pins and things that, let me show you, that you won't lose your top. And it was sticking. Okay, see what's happening? Because when they first arrive, they're fantastic. After a while, this starts to happen. See the bend? They don't, they don't work. And they're, you know, at eight, seven, eight bucks a pop. I was even buying some for gifts for my crafty friends. This is an option. And you can, um, it would be on Etsy. But I'll, I'll never do it again because every... As you can see, I've gone through three of them. They're all pretty, but they all make my glue clog and stop working after after a while. Every time, see how it's not, see how you can see that's me sticking it in, it bends, I didn't have to straighten it back out. That's my first one. So I kept it, but I don't use it. My second one was this. Oh, I have I have glue all over my fingers. <laughs> Was this one? Long stick bends in 2.2 seconds. See? Because they're thin. So, you know, I say proceed with caution. They don't, it doesn't, it doesn't work after a while. And then this one. Because I do use the glue a lot. So what I did, I do have a pin kit that I picked up. Side on sale on Amazon, it was a decent price. And what it comes with is six stainless steel pins. Because I do use the Art Glitter Glue. I know you guys always hear me talk about adhesive sheets, but for everything else, I will use the glue. I have four in here, that means I took two out. And it also comes with, I guess this is the scoop, scoop glitter. I don't even know what this is for. <laughs> Honestly, I was only interested in a, in a cloth. Okay, still have no clue what these are for. All I was interested was the pins. In case I lose my pin, I have another pin to put in. So I installed my little tip 
and I'm ready to go. And like I said, I will link also the refills. I, I have two because I thought I was going to go through the glue much faster than I did. <laughs> so I have, I have, um, that's one of the reasons why I'm not buying the, um, barely, the barely glue. I don't need to, to be honest with you guys, because I have so much art glitter glue here. Now, another option, if you don't want to do the, you know, $12 for art glitter glue, $20 for a refill, that's now 30 something dollars just for glue, which I don't blame you. Trust me, it took me a while to say, all right, I'm going to give it a try. And I only did it because it was mini album making. Before that, I was using Scotch Tacky Glue. Now this, you can find Target, Walmart, um, definitely Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, and Amazon. I wouldn't buy this on Amazon. It's just too expensive. Unless you're, if you're not going out, then, I, then yes. Okay, get it then. Or just search, search around. This is the Scotch Quick Drying Tacky Glue, two, two ounces as well. So it's the same size as this bottle. And I was using this for years for mini albums. Now this, both of them are, yeah, I think both of them are open. It's the same, it's gonna be the same thing. See how it, see how it's coming out? Actually, it, it, it has, does, it, this one comes with an applicator. This is an older one. And it, this, I've had this for years and it's still working. Just keep it closed. The one you're probably going to see in the store is this one. And I'll use it for certain things when I'm making mini albums. Okay, yeah, that's thick. But how to make it be like the art glitter, which is now drying clear with the fine line, is at Hobby Lobby and also available on Amazon. But of course, back in the day when I had the 40% off, I got this. It's the fine line applicator. It's an empty bottle and it's available, like I said, at Hobby Lobby in the hobby section where, you, where you'll, you just have to walk around the store or ask somebody and um, ask them where do they have the model cars. That's where you'll find this. And this is their 18 gauge applicator. This is their 20 gauge applicator. You can see that I bought it somewhere else. She just changed, she just took off the, the label and put it, put it on. And what you do with this, this also, that's, you fill, fill it up with the glue. I'm not going to do it because I'm just, yeah, I'm saving it. <laughs> so I'm like, well, I want to fill it up now and I'm not going to use it, but you would take the tacky glue, pour it in here. So you just screw this bottom off, pour the glue in here, and then put it back on. What you wanna be careful of is this. When you're, and it will give you a nice fine detail. You just take your time and stick it on back and then screw it on. I used this four years before I got into the art glitter glue. And then I was carrying this set to crops and just using the art glitter at home. This one is the 20 gauge. This has a finer tip. Let me see if I can show you the tips. You see, see the difference? Here's my hand. Yeah. So the 18 gauge is here, which gives you fine detail. If you want super fine, then you get the 20. Now at Hobby Lobby, I think they only carry this one the 18 gauge and it will be blue and it will say 20 gauge or you can buy it on um, Amazon if you want both of them work well just that once I got into the art glitter glue then I was like oh, I, I kind of like it and then I did did my whole investment in it so now I have just these hanging around but if I ever go back because you know adhesive is adhesive <laughs> I'll fill this up this one is from Karen Bernston, and she is um, she she designs dyes, and this would give you closer to what this fine tip gives you, the the twenty gauge. This will last you a long time. This will definitely last you a long time. This is the first time in years that I've had a problem with this. I must have just left it open. 
Now, also available on Etsy, they sell this. And I had bought this actually, I'd, I've seen it on Etsy, but I've also bought it from my, um, the lady who ran, ran the crops that I used to go to, which when everything opens up back 100%, I probably will be right back there, Vero Beach Scrapbooking. <laughs> You know when you take a 3D, they, they take a 3D printer. I don't know, is, it, is, this a, is this acrylic? Maybe it's acrylic. But you can see it. And then they, and then they um, make this thing, this housing. This is for when you're using the glue, you're at your craft station. And you can hold it down. See what happens? It won't clog because the tip is touching the bottom. Now, I was excited to get this, didn't work for me. When I would lift up the glue and go to apply it, because all the glue was down here, it was giving me a flood. And it was also, I don't know, it just wasn't working for me. One of the croppers had um, given me a hint about putting like a wet, uh, like cut a square or two or fold up a, a wet wipe and put it here. When I did the wet wipe, what was happening was the tip was hanging down in here and then I would lift it up, go to apply it and it, and it picked up the water from the wet wipe. So I was getting water before I got the glue. Eh, I know, I know. If you have a tip, if you have this and you have a tip of how to just keep this working, please tell me because so far, it doesn't work <laughs> for me. I'm, I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I put it in upside down. It was either clogging at the bottom, even though it touches the bottom, it just wasn't working accurate for me. And then I did the put the wet, wet piece and still wasn't getting a good result. So I'm back to just standing it up with the pin. I didn't expect to spend so much time just talking about wet glue. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. I just wanted to show you that there are options besides, um, you know, how to install the fine metal tip and also another option to the art glitter glue that is readily available, easier to find than having to go hunting for this, but this is well worth the hunt. Just get a refill and you're good for a long, long time. Alrighty crafters, until my next video, stay crafty my friends, bye.